difficult to understand that. <laughs> Yeah, welcome, welcome. It's a pleasure to have as the guest is for this particular program the one and only Danny Darrow, the Danny Darrow of MNN fame and fortune. And he's got a life story that would be, I just happened to watch, Danny, on the program. They had one on CBS for the life story of Bob Hope. Yeah, you I didn't you see and that. I are old enough to remember Bob Hope. I remember Hope, Bob. Bob is wonderful. But he, he was, was a giant comedian. Yes, he was. And he was really... And he was really a wonderful person, and they had a great thing with Jack Benny. Yeah. And some of those people, they were singing the praises of them. Yeah. But I'm here to want to sing the praises of Danny Darrow. In sing the praises of Danny Darrow? Yeah, I, I, I never wrote a song like Danny that. Danny Darrow is a major fa figure, major figure. He's been in show business at the ground level, at the real level of what real show business is. Apart from all the, st the stars, that was before and so I could forth. even talk and he's walk, a great, that's right. He's a great, great uh, representation of what it is to be a member of the thespian community, the actors of the world. The and thespian the, community. Thespian, not lesbian. Oh, thespian. thank you, thank thespian. you, Harold. Yeah. It means it means yeah. theater people. Theater, theater, theater people. people of the theater. That's all right. You know? That's all right. I can, Mickey I can get along with and that. Judy Garland and all that. You yeah. know. Well, it, it's no business not, like yes, show. Yes, I know, Harold. Business. That's fabulous. There's no business, I know. Yes, darling. Okay. Danny, da Danny Darrow is about the best of them. Anyway, he's got a hell of an interesting story, and among other things, he is a he's a magnificent human being. Okay, let's just get with that. But he's also very, very athletic. Yeah, but wait and a minute. And he's also very much a a person who understands the game of golf. Yes. And guess who else really liked the game of golf? Bob Hope. I know, we all like to play golf. So Everybody. we're sort of going along with the memory of Bob Hope, a great member, a great a great citizen of the world. And we're gonna have a, a follow up with that thing that CBS did on MNN doing a great citizen of the world in show business and in other matters. <laughs> this gentleman, Danny, Darrell, and Danny, welcome to the set. Well, it's so good to have you here with us. Harold, again. it's so wonderful Brother to have you Danny. Th th yeah. to be with you yeah, on yeah, your yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're wonderful, and you've been on the show for how many years? 30? About a thousand now. A it's thousand just getting years? We're moving in on a thousand, yeah, it's oh. been a real long, been a long run. A, a long they run. Use that, that's a show business term. If you have a thing that goes up on the stage and not go out the yeah. fast first yeah, yeah, night, yeah. It's got a long run, and that's a good thing yeah, to have long, happen. What's it, about 35 years? Oh, no, more than that. 35, was, 38 yeah. years. I was, do, I was doing television. With the fifth report, in fact, that came off the boat and made television possible for the citizen oh my. as something that was just coming out of history. It's amazing how tele... That's another thing we yeah. could be talking about a little bit, okay. is the telescoping of history. Yeah. History is moving so much quicker now yes. than it did when you and I were young. There what do you were mean, when we and I were young, we're still young, Harold. Well, speak for yourself, that Danny We're still D. young, you, you know. You speak for yourself, Danny <laughs> D, but uh, yeah, to a degree. No, but the theme of the, 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 the rapidity with which human society is changing uh, is, is something un uh, unprecedented in all of history. It used to be a little bit of time we had, I'm trying to make a comparison between Dar Danny Darrow and Bob Hope, a great figure of well, the, the stage, screen, and radio. Harold or Jack Benny was another, remember? I, I remember, he, he was the one that used to pick Rochester up bottles. Rochester. He used to pick up bottles in the street for a nickel, he told yeah, me. Well, there were a lot of people who did that. That's yeah. right. But Nickel, the show, but it was two cents. The show business people, that, there, there were people that were on vaudeville and that kind of thing, and God bless them, they're a really wonderful group of people. There was great camaraderie. Yeah, that's right. And you tend, you can, they've always got a, a little something better than yeah. normal uh, yeah. thing, and they have to have it. And you've got that whatever. Well, that, but, but that they had a thing for a woman called an it girl. Do you remember that? And I remember the, the there it was girl. There was a woman who was an it girl. I would, with the crazy hats, with the I'm feathers and everything. I not forget a, what I, I I can't remember. Some of the ladies might remember what it was. The it. Yeah, I don't know what had, the but it she was. was the it girl. Well, they, they had the to 20s. say something to the body. I don't know if it maybe was the body beautiful or no, the, the face. An, an it girl, the, an the it girl. Aurora or the no, air. they had straight line dresses. That's yeah. all they had. Straight well, line. In those days, well, it was I don't know. Was it 1920s, 1930s? Some of those flappers had some dresses. 
that were a little bit, you know, a little <laughs> bit. My daddy would say risque, a risque, little bit, yeah, yeah a little right. bit more. And they used to have burlesque shows and things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, well, I used to you work know, ladies, burlesque. The ladies would go and pretend to take off their clothes, and sometimes they would take no, their no, clothes off. No, no, they did. Off. They used to come and out everybody completely would nude, sing that and they'd be nude saying, on stage. Take it off, take it Harold. off, called the boys from the <laughs> rear. What a crazy world is the world. Harold, but we those were the days, Minsky's and yeah, and, Minsky's, and, right. and uh, Minsky's, and and then you had the the Rialto theaters. They had everything else, and I used to work with the, with with the, with the, with a troupe. I know you were there at the beginning. I was there. You and, really were. And, and we you, used to go out all a over. Real, you were a real character person in the midst of all of that. And you've got an incredible life story to tell, and it ought to be told much more than it is because you were right there. How many times did you do a program with the great, uh, uh, the guy that on radio here and, and everything? Oh, with, uh, with, with Fra Joe Franklin. Yeah. Joe Fra Joe everybody used to remembers Joe Franklin in yeah. New York City, do they not? Yeah. Everybody. I know, I everybody. know. He I knew know. everybody. I, he knew everyone. Yeah. He tried to help everyone. Yeah. He was wonderful. He was a great in, in, guy. In fact, in fact, over And here, you sat on his couch 300 times or something. Not on, on that. Well, wait a minute. I sat on his couch, but then I was, I was on the dais also with, with him. Yeah. I was on the dais with him, and he says, Danny, you know, you did over 300 chairs. You know that? I says, no, I don't know that. I says, I did. And then you, Joe did over 500,000 shows. That's really absurd. Yeah, 500,000 so shows. So how did that work with, the, with his show, doing something like that? How did, did he, did he, did you have it carefully scripted? Or no, was there was no script. Was there any no. element of what they call Herald, spontaneity? Herald, what you it's guys the same did? thing like you and I do. We're winging it. That we, we, you and I are winging it. It's the same thing that Joe and I no, used I to do all the time. All, I got this all scripted, man. You're just you this know, is all scripted? In the lines. Yeah, oh my I've God. I wrote this up I last did, night. Your I didn't lines, study. I've already put it into your head, the oh lines. I wrote them up and I sent oh, them over Herald, by pigeon. Harold, I didn't, didn't study you get it. You've been looking at the pigeon, I said. The pigeon. The homing pigeon with the lines for this Just in case we have another world war, we need the pigeon. I write it carefully. Well, I couldn't depend on you to write it for crying oh out loud. God. I mean, this this show is Manhattan Neighborhood Network. You're kidding. This show cannot just stand anything just happening out of the blue like that. Anything could happen. Her the whole place no, could blow no, up. No, Herald. this is rehearsed. Why are we here, Harold? Why? Carefully, you know, oh, oh scripted God. and everything. Oh my but God. anyway, uh, Bob Hope and everything like that. But you were, you were. And you've also a heck of an athlete. You're a golfer. Yeah, I'm a golfer. And guess who was a golfer? Bob Hope played golf. They all and played Bob golf. Hope all the, all the stars Francis used to play Langford golf. And all these great screens and for the boys fighting in the war. That's right. We used to have It was a magnificent thing. And he had a terribly be a tough beginning life. Yeah, he had a terribly tough beginning All of us life. had a... He had no food to eat and things like that. Harold. So many of these poor artists are starving. That's why everyone's in show business. Because society doesn't recognize the importance Herald. of violence. That's artists. why everyone's in show business. We should they recognize don't have enough, show business They don't have artists. enough food to eat because they want to lose weight. They're too fat. Is that what it is? That's what it is. Are there e are a lot of couple of big egos in that realm? That's what it is. Are That's there some big is. egos yeah. in show business it, people? Do no, that? I don't no? know. There's not. Oh, wait. Some of them are, are really so, off the wall. Mm, uh, really? Some of them are, are crazy. They got the big they egos. should have a but contest. It's only Who's a got the biggest schmucky ego yeah. in the world? Yeah, Harold, in show it's, it's just a they job. Should have a, they should have a. What do you call? What do you call when you give the the best movie? The the, the, uh, the an Oscar. 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 An yeah. Oscar. They should Oscar. have an Oscar for a schmuck. I know. Well. Wait schmucky, schmucky. Wait, 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 wait. The, the Oscar, I don't think Oscar had or never had a schmuck. No, I said we should have one. The we schmuckiest one. entertainer in the history of show business. Uh, a, a but now it calls Oscar. for a definition of terms. What do we mean? First of all, is not uh, we're using a dirty word? Is uh, that a dirty word? Yeah, a dirty, it's a dirty word in Yiddish. Yeah, it's a dirty word in Yiddish. But it's not a dirty word in English. That's so right. It's okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you caught that? Yeah, Harold, you caught you that? Good. Anyway, to get, <laughs> anyway, to sneak something in there and get good, over. Good. Get over, right? Get, you want to get over. Yeah, same old thing. Yeah, smart alecky people <laughs> like that and everything good, like that. Good, wonderful. Anyway, you are a hell of a golfer. I know that, and an athletic person, well, and a, a, a pioneer of show business at minute. the real roots. Of what you are more representative Herald. of the spirit of the of the of that thing than some of the stars. But Harold, Harold, now you told me your you, reputation. You is told deserved. me that you used to caddy because I used to be a caddy. Uh, Remember, everybody caddied at nineteen or seventeen. Nineteen or, or seventeen. Twelve, 12 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah, uh, 16, Fifty 15. pound bag on each shoulder. You That's ever right. do double? 
double. Why was it a double? double. Well, that was, what that is, ladies and gentlemen, you got these guys out there, bankers and whatnot, they're shooting their game and they're that's right. drinking bourbon and they're carrying jokes. And that's right. Telling dirty jokes on the thing and everything like that. And they've got two big bags full of every conceivable it, club that you can No, have but you're only allowed to carry to 15 clubs. Yeah, but they got these big ones and they got the big bags. And, and, then, they, and then they have the gin and they have the rye no, and, they have the, and gonna, everything is in the bag. We're educate the people a little bit to golf. Okay? Yeah. Because okay. a lot of the people probably don't even know how to, what is this golf game? You go out and do it. But you'd have it from the caddies From the caddies perspective, yeah. You know, okay. from the peons perspective. Okay, the peons, that's the right. The world of golf from the peons perspective that's of right. the caddy. And they would be out there <clears throat> and they would have two great big bags. They'd weigh about 50 or 60 pounds each and everything. One on this shoulder, and one on, one that on this shoulder. shoulder, and you got it. You got a little scrawny kid of twelve or something, That's and right. he's carrying this bag. And invariably, yes. you got two golfers. Yes, invariably, one would have what they call a slice. Yes, and the other one would have what they call a hook. So you a hook goes that way, and the and slice, slice goes, goes that, that way. So, you so you're running over here, and then you're <laughs> running, <laughs> right? Does That's right. You familiar? split yourself up and go to different That's directions. That's how come we got to have such good physical uh, That's capability. That's right. But then, Harold, if you're if you're carrying sixty pounds here and sixty pounds there, sixty, and you, yeah. And you're a little kid, and you're nice and yeah, skinny. 12, when yeah, twelve. Yeah, when you when you walk down the fairway, you keep sinking and sinking into the yeah, mud from the way. and sinking, and pretty soon you're you're gone, and they're looking for you, and they can't find you. That, that's right. You could disappear right into the green. That's right. Right, yeah. into, the right green. into the green of the hole. Of the that's green. right, yeah, the big yeah. hole, the yeah. big hole. But that thing about them being a slice and a hook, that's really the case with that's, the double that's invariably. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. But then you got to find the balls all yeah. the time. Yeah, that's true. you got to find the balls. Because otherwise it's a penalty stroke. Yeah, I know. Well, that's true, all of that. And yeah. you <laughs> also, you, d you get pretty good at kicking it when the empire isn't watching. What? what like if you got what they call a bad lie. A bad Suppose line. you got a ball and it's in a little hole. You have to hit it just it like that. It happened and ended up in a little hole. You got to hit it just like that. No, you got to hit it like it you is. You got to hit it like it's in unless, the hole. Unless if you get there first and you can kick it. Well, you, that's uh, been known to that's, that's That not, has been known cheating. to happen. That's cheating, Harold. That's cheating, Harold. Cheating? Yes, I, that's oh, cheating. cheating. You're not oh, supposed to be a cheater oh, on the golf course. Oh, I didn't know. What about the cheater of yeah, life? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. about cheating in life? Is there any cheating going on in life? You're not supposed to do that. No, you're not supposed to, but is there any going on? But and do some of the people who raise to the top? Yes. Do they not cheat? Well, Harold, they should be. They should be giving them an Oscar in cheating. Well, no, they should be giving an Oscar in who is the schmuckiest cheater in the whole world. Yeah, but that, like that would be a good show. The, yeah, the Oscars, be. an Oscars for the cheaters. Well, they have Oscars. If they for have the, it. They usually end up as president. I, th th they that's do. right. They very that's, often do. I know. Or, 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 or ahead of the parade. They're out there in the head of the parade. The that's cheaters. right. That's right. You think it is? The, uh, the outstanding yeah. people, the well, cheaters? They also have it for the bad they movies, mm -hmm. the worst movies of all time. Mm -hmm. You get an Oscar for the worst movie yeah, of all time. Yeah. You get an Oscar for the, for the worst this, the worst Worst this, the worst this. Yeah, yeah. They they really should have that. Yeah, I but there's a lot idea. of things. I think there's a lot of things that could be improved in our society, don't you? I think so too. Yeah. Yes, I think so. And don't you think it's all changing far too fast? Uh, it really it is. It used to be languid, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you could remember. We could remember as we were youth. That it was very quiet and serene and things moved slowly. Well, that was in the 40s and the no, 50s. No, no, the 30s. 30s. The 30s, 30s too. 30s, 30s. Quiet we were, and serene. We're, it was yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and, and you had little gorgeous. puppy dogs and you had, to, you know, everything was, you know. Was safe and everything. You leave your windows open. You leave your doors open. You leave yeah, everything yeah, open. Absolutely. You would never think about doing it. That's now, right. It's moving so fast. You can't. You got to have ten locks on the door. It's very. You think it is? Yes. More than it was. Ten locks on the door at least. What is it better than? No okay, people no, are let's... looking at the steal and cheat and everything. Yeah, but let's get a thing up philosophically on this. You know, first of all, I know we got to do. We wanted to deal with the golf, and we got a clip about golf. Okay. Oh, we, we got a clip. Oh we my got God, a clip. my clip. We want to include the clip. Okay. By all means and everything okay. like that. Okay. Okay. But it's a metaphor for life, and then. Uh, I think that uh, the, the, the pace of the life is the rapidity of the significant earth shattering changes that come seemingly weekly now were things that were spaced out over a decade in the past. It was moving so much slower. It Everything was moving slower. The pace of the, cha the, the pace of the race. Is that term, is H that, Harold. wait a minute, wait a minute, everybody. Is that term trademarked yet? Harold. The 
pace of the race. The pace of the, the race. The pace of the race. Okay, you can you can trademark that, Harold. The, but no. I but I know. And it, listen, everything is moving is so fast. Trademark enough. Uh, whatever you want to do. You got any lawyers? You know any lawyers who are write contracts? You can do whatever you want. You no, look no, them up I mean, on the me, internet. You, I, no, I have to have somebody who knows those people. Those yeah, yeah. kind of people. There's plenty of people. Right. No, the kind of people. I, you know the kind of people Harold, I'm talking about. You on my, know the kind Harold, of people I'm talking about. Harold, on I'm my not, yeah, I'm not talking about uh, you know l legitimate businessmen. I got to talk to somebody who knows how to Who's work a lawyer. the angle. And, <laughs> He's a lawyer. He's that. not a legitimate businessman. That's He's even, a lawyer. Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. I've got about five lawyers on my floor, yeah. and in my building there may be hundreds of lawyers. Mm -hmm. And on every block in New York City, you've got about ten or fifteen lawyers on every block in New York City. Everybody's a lawyer. It didn't used to. My daddy was a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was years ago. That, that those were different time. times. Well, it was different it, times. Where no, we but don't I think there's something we said for that seriously that the change is so much faster. I don't know if that goes back from the beginning of time. Harold, or something, Harold, at the beginning, but there might be a where, when we in were there. born in the beginning of time. Yeah, Harold. it seems that way. It does <laughs> seem that way. All right, they didn't have scammers calling on the telephone all the time. You know, I get like like You're like right. five there was an, there was five calls innocence. a day. Everybody's trying to scam you. There was an innocence. There were innocence. Yeah, those were wonderful days. Remember the movies. With Judy Garland and Mickey Rooney, Mickey, Mickey, always and they're there, and the kids are going to put on a show in the barn, and then it can't be done yeah, because yeah. the mortgage has to be paid on the tractor yeah. or some sort. And the little dog, the wonderful little dog, and the moo cow, I know. the cow that moved right on cue, I know. and everything like that, and it was so sweet. I know, and then sweet. guess what? They put on the show, and it was a hit. I know, I know. I Don't never you met, remember? I never met Judy Garland, Every but time. but Mickey and I, we were in a. Did you know him actually? I knew him now you talk because series. we were this in a series. This man has been in show business from sh show business we were, a, we were in a series that Mickey was a star yeah. in a series called you Franklin. You were a star? No, not no, me. Mickey, Mickey was, was a star. star yeah. uh, called Great Franklin. Talent. Great Franklin, talent. Franklin, yeah. it, they never put it out on, uh, on TV and we were filming it. Yeah, it was called Franklin? Franklin. That was what? A th uh, uh, years and years ago. I think I, I, I worked with Mickey uh, maybe about uh, 20 years ago or 30 years ago. See this, and then, wait a minute. And then he had a home, he's get, he had a home in Alpine New Jersey, yeah. and he wanted me to go play golf with him, mm -hmm. and I and I and I, I never went. I don't know. I never played never with, him. Play with him. Right? I never played, but yeah. he always liked to play golf. Yeah, see. see, I'm talking about these people and these things and everything, and he is talking about. Well, that was my buddy. He was you. You. you well, were no, part it wasn't my buddy. He was a friend. He was a friend. He wasn't a buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy with him. No, but you were an uh, observer and a part. You know, I had languid days of youth. You know, with reasonableness and everything. But you were in touch with the people that I were... I was in touch with I'm a lot of people. I'm trying to sing the praises of these people, that Bob Hope and so forth. Yeah, I you never met Bob You were friends Hope. with them. No, not always. Yeah. But you were engaged in that community in that, of yeah. the show business. That's people. right, yeah. 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 Isn't it great? It was wonderful. Aren't they great? <clears throat> I'll sing you a song. There's no business like show business. There's no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. It is? Everything the traffic will allow. Okay. Nowhere do you get that special feeling when, when you, you are, are stealing that an extra bow. bow. See, they don't make songs like that anymore, ladies and gentlemen. And you youth in the history, listen well to this. Listen to this. You're square. They were, you know, like that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so that's something. But now, what about what about this thing about golf? You were a good golfer. I used to be a good golfer. What was but, your handicap? Uh, well, I never really had. I'll tell you. When I used to caddy, I mean, no. When kick, I used to caddy, no, no the caddy, the, the ca I know, of the but ball. yeah, you know the, I mean. the, the, no kicking allowed in the no ball. No, 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 no. I'm kicking but, of the ball. No, no kicking of the Out ball. Out of the sign trap or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand that. Yeah. But the thing that uh, when I used to caddy, all the caddies, not only myself, yeah. they used to go around. Uh, 61, 62, 63. Yeah, that's so great. they used to go around, and after I finished, far, yeah. wait a minute. Then after oh. I, then I wait. Then I finished the first hole, and I had to go on to the second Cut hole. Cut it out! <laughs> that's very corny. That's overdone. You've overdone it. <laughs> I did. It, I did? It, if you made it a dozen, but to sell, yeah, 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 yeah. you made it so big, the number. Then it just loses all its thing. You well, I mean, it, listen, if you don't know where you're going, what do you do, Harold? Because you got to hit the ball here, hit There's the ball no there. Irish you got to hit the ball all over. We <laughs> don't know where we're going, but we're on our way. We are? We don't know where we're going, but we're here. 
to say, say. Lidy dighty diddle diddle do I Yay. We don't know, know where, where we're, we're going, going but we're on our, our way. Bang! Bang! Yes, okay, yes. so now. That's a song for the ages. Now, okay. That's a song now, we can all okay. live by. Okay, so you want it? You we don't know what the hell we're doing, but something's going on. Something's going on. That's like the world, right? I know, I know. Yeah. God forbid we should leave the studio and, and show everybody business take a look brings at that up, I think, don't yeah. you? I think it does, yeah. yeah. And golf does. And golf. So, yeah. listen, did you want to go see the clip that I'd yeah, like to I, well, I, 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 What I would like to be able to get uh, golf. It's a serious business. You got Ben Hogan. Do you remember Ben I Hogan? I remember Ben Hogan. And you remember uh, all the great golf. We were just Sneed. informed. Wait, so wait, wait. Oh, wait no, no, but now we've got to include it. Too. Okay. In the okay. next really World Olympic, Olympic Games. Just put it on. Memorable of features of the uh, And we golf. were looking for the greatest golfer of all time. And we found him <laughs> after a tournament in Las Vegas at the old chicken ranch, 75 miles out, which was renamed the Mustang Ranch. Now, this famous bordello is the hangout for thousands of golfers all over the world. And this is where we found our man practicing <laughs> his chipping and putting, getting in shape for his next big tournament. Trying to top Tiger Woods. Here he is, one of the greatest golfers in the world, Panther Irons. Excuse me, Mr. Irons. How come they call you Panther? Now, where did this name come from? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you blind? Do you not see? The Panther is a wild, lean, majestic, tall animal, ready to pounce, ready to devour. Do you not recognize that's who I am? I. Besides, uh, they, they don't make woods anymore, only iron. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> well, I just don't see it. You don't see it? Oh, well, all the girls in the ranch saw it. They chased me all around. The girls were chasing me day in, day out. All over they chased me. Hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, why, why was that? Why? They wanted to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, did any of these girls at the chicken ranch yes. who wanted to devour you, yes. did any of them uh, ever caddy for you? Of course. Yes. Yes. Every single girl there at the chicken ranch wanted to hold my iron. But I said, no, I will hold my own iron. Only Panther Iron plays with his iron. Really? <laughs> I would have never taken you for an iron holder. Mm -hmm. You look more like a leg man. <laughs> yes. Uh, did you ever play against Tiger Woods in any of the major tournaments, uh, like like the Masters? Of course. Of course, but I, I did not play against Tiger Woods in an open. I played in the Palisades closed. I was up there on the tee, and I hit the ball, and the ball shanked to the left, and I just missed Tiger by that much. <laughs> I almost killed him, almost killed him. Never played with me again. He's a sore loser. <laughs> Well, Panther. Yes. Did you ever have any kids, any children? You know, a Tiger, I think, has two. Yeah, uh, yeah. Did you ever have any children of your own, Panther? No, I was too busy in the Mustang Ranch. I was spending all my time practicing hitting my balls <laughs> and always trying to get in the hole. I never had time to think about anything else. <laughs> You know, are, are, are you all right, Panther? Yeah. You know, you look a little pale. Uh, you know, are, are you yeah, okay? Well, no, I don't feel too good. You know, this has been a rough day. A rough day. I got up this morning, put on my shirt. I put on my shirt, the button fell off. <laughs> then I went over and I grabbed my golf bag, and the handle fell off. I'm afraid to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my God, I know it's been a tough Panther. day for you. But the thing is now, now, yes. now, 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 now Panther, uh, you know, you know, uh, 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 when you're practicing at the ranch, what is your favorite club? The Playboy Club. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be Hooters, but they threw me out. <laughs> well, but yeah, but what size club do you use? Do you use uh, a short shaft, or, you, or do you use a, a, a long shaft? What are you, a dummy? It's a short shaft. Not because I want to, I have to. <laughs> Well, now, now when you're when when you're practicing your 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 chipping yeah. and, and and you're putting at the, at the ranch, yeah. uh, do you prefer do you prefer a short stroke or a uh, long oh, stroke? Well, that all depends on the position I'm in. You see, if I'm laying up, I use the long stroke. But if I'm putting, I use the short stroke. 
<laughs> a stroke for every hole. Oh, <laughs> I see. But uh, stroke for every hole. But now the thing is that, that, that what what is your 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 angle your angle of attack? Always, angle. always <laughs> keep your eye on the hole. Oh, and anything else that moves. <laughs> now, what do you do when the ball goes in the hole? I kiss it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, Panther, how did you groove your swing at the ranch? Oh, oh, by practicing night and day. <laughs> day and night, you are the one. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, Panther, look at yes. you know there's 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 a lot of different grips when you grip the golf club. You know there is. there's a there's an overlapping grip, underlapping grip. There's an interlocking grip. Yes. There's all kinds of grips. Now the thing is, what type of grip do you use? I use the squeeze grip, very famous grip, the squeeze grip. You see, sometimes I use the hip grip, sometimes I use the ankle grip, whatever I can get my hands on. That's my grip. No. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, now let's speak about your body. Now, how do you adjust your body to your swing? Well, horizontally, parallel hurts my back. <laughs> okay. Now, you know, going into your golf bag now, you know, you know, golfers carry a lot of wedges. They, they, they carry a sand wedge. wedge. They, they carry a, a chipping wedge. They carry a lob wedge, which creates spin on your ball. Yes. Now, which do you prefer? Do you prefer back spin? Or do you prefer front oh, spin? Oh, this is tough. This is tough. It all depends on how I'm laying. Mm, I see. Well, now, what do you think? What's your lay? Yeah. What do you think yeah. if you get a birdie? Did I kill him? I hope it's not a flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you're near the green, yes. near the hole, yes. Panther, like Tiger, yes. are you very up and down? Only when I trip and fall. <laughs> <laughs> At the ranch, yes. do you tend to get aggressive if you miss a stroke or two? Well, it depends on how I shot my position. Well, I mean, the position your shot? What? What? Shot your Rose. position, position your shot? I don't know what I'm doing either. Oh, <laughs> my God. Now, look at it. Yes. Okay, now, which hand, Panther, which hand do you find the best to use? Whichever is available. <laughs> I see. Okay, okay. Now, now, Panther, Panther. Yes, yes. Are your legs perfectly balanced while swinging? Well, only, only when the brace is on and the case. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, Panther, yes. I can understand that. I can understand that. But the thing is, you know, there's a hole. A hole. There there's is. A, there, yeah, yes, yes. There's a hole at the Mustang Ranch. Yes, yes, there is a that's, hole that's, there. That's 650 yards long. 650 yards long! Okay, now, take it easy. Now, how would you play this hole? Well, first I got to inspect it carefully. I got to look the hole over. I got to watch everything. And then I'm going to run like hell. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever, ever scored a hole in one? Well, really, only in the drive-in movie. Oh. <laughs> now, look, Panther, two professional golfers. Two? Only two? Yeah, two scored world PGA records shooting a 59 no. each. Oh. And you 59. scored a 57. That's right. Now, how did you do that? I quit after the first hole. <laughs> <laughs> now, Panther, look, club head speed is very important. Very important. How do you retain the speed on your club head? Oh, by turning out all the lights. And then I swing in the dark. Oh. <laughs> swing in the dark. Yeah, especially at the ranch. Oh, especially at the ranch, yeah. <laughs> Panther, listen. Yes. Panther, you claimed you shot an eagle. It was the ninth hole. On the, no, it was the eighth hole. Eighth hole. The Close eighth up. hole. Yes. Now, how did you do that? With my gun. <laughs> and it was a tough shot. I didn't even use a scope. The game warden is still looking for me. Uh, <laughs> Panther. Yes, listen. yes. If you made what? the Ryder Cup, the Ryder Cup team, okay, <laughs> what would you do? I'd buy a horse. Oh. Panther? Yes. Panther, what? listen. I just heard that Tiger got four birdies on the first four holes. Four? Four. And you got seven birdies on the first seven holes. Seven? seven. Yes. I got now, seven. How did you do that? I cheat. <laughs> Thank you very much, Panther Iron. Panther Iron, here I go.
Well, that's just about it. And uh, I want to thank me for being on your show. And I want to thank my guests, Marilyn Doprin and Danny Dennis and my wonderful crew. Please remember my recipe for happiness, all right? You must have something to do. You must have someone to love. And you must have something to look forward to. Until the next time, I'm Danny Darrow, sending you lots of hugs and kisses and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> all right, bravo, author, 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 author. Hey, bravo, move Check over, Mel Brooks. Check your watch, it just went out. It went oh. out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that guy's funny. That He's funny? your mate, huh? Yeah, that, your that was, yeah. we were, we were. Who birth- wrote, the, who wrote the line? Well, I wrote them. Yeah, really clever. Yeah, yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, thank you, my, I, I write all the star scripts. stuff. I write yeah. all the scripts. And he's great. He's wonderful. He's, he's my wonderful. darling. Yeah. He, Sure, we used, we, uh, we used to play golf together. And you know how we met? We, we went on a, um, a, 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 a call together. Yeah. And uh, he got the job, and I got the job. And it was for the M&M's uh, candies. And I was yeah, the, yeah. I was the, the, uh, the uh, new uh, candy inventor. Uh, the, the, the ad? Yeah. A, yeah. In the, in big, it, to it, make it, an it, ad. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It ran in People's Magazine every month for two years. Oh, wow. And yeah. I was the inventor of the new m and candy or the peanuts or whatever it was, and he was my little angel. Have you still got copies of that? Uh, I have, yeah. You I think do? I, God, that would be great. Yeah. And That's major. And then I, M&M's yeah, big. And then I met him. Yeah. I, I, I met him, and, uh, and, and, and we, we, we spoke a little bit. And, uh, and he, had, uh, he, went to, he had burlesque and vaudeville. I had burlesque and vaudeville. And that's, uh, we, we grew up the same time. And then we started playing golf together. I said, why don't we start working a little bit together and everything Yeah, else. yeah, yeah. And we started and, and, and we ended up Why don't up you keep doing it now? How are you still retired. doing it? He retired. He yeah. retired. You had other skits you've done with him. Oh, I've got other yeah. shows. That but that was so clever. Huh? That was so well done. That well, was thank that, you, Donald, Yeah, I really know. good. I, do, I think everyone could applaud. That was really funny. Yeah, that guy's funny. As oh, he's wonderful. Get out. He's yeah. wonderful. And does he does he go out and gig around? Still? Uh, well, he's in Florida now. Yeah, you know. And is we're there opportunities down there for his, uh, his talent? Well, I'll tell is you. Is he exercising his talent, or is he retiring, or what? No, he retired. Uh, he's he's retired. Uh, I'm like semi-retired. I still want to keep working. We're both the same age. Uh-huh. See, we're, 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 we're both we're, 39. Like no, Jack yeah, 39. Benny. We were born yeah. over 80 years ago. Oh, right. But you know, yeah. but um, uh, he, uh, you know, uh, I told him. I said, "Gee, I said, Danny, I said, you know, what we should do. We should maybe uh, do, uh, you know." Uh, you know, do some of these skits and go on like Abbott Costello did, and and uh, you know, and uh, and yeah. and, and, uh, and some of the other guys and yeah. uh, Laurel and Hardy and right. stuff like that yeah. and everything else. And he wanted to, but I never had a chance to do it with him because you got to rehearse it and everything yeah, else. Yeah. And we have to be together. But he's all the way down there, and I'm all the way you over here. You can't do anything with Skype. You couldn't do anything uh, like that. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you know, but but we talk every week. We yeah. Talk. Oh, you do. Yeah, we talk That's every wonderful. week on the telephone. Yeah, on the telephone. He tells well, why me don't how you much do you it by Skype? You can do it. I don't know Skype. But yeah, he, but it, so much of the man's talent is those expressions. He's fabulous. He's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. He was the star of my show. Yeah, the I would have thought. Star of my show. Really? Yeah. He what was about you? Wonderful. But Me, I'm not. I'm just a flunky. That's all I am. I don't do anything. Ah, <laughs> I don't. Ah, I don't ah, <laughs> the old I don't count for anything routine. I don't do anything. No, 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 yeah. no, no. You no, got no. that down. You I got just, that I down. Just, I, I don't. Have to I say, don't do. That fake do. thing, yeah, yeah, you got the fake down. That's it. No, you're really I don't, on the I don't way. Care, Harold, you're on the way to stardom. Harold, think, it's just yeah. a job. That's think, all yeah. it is, and it's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's just yeah. a fun job yeah. and everything. And if you got enough strength, yeah, to do it, yeah, then you know, then it, it's wonderful. But you know, at this age, you end up yeah. losing your strength. You end up, uh, you know, you're you're like going down the hit. Harold, get up, Harold, get up, Harold, get up, Harold, 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 get up. <laughs> Melting away. No, yes, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways, that's Danny Dennis. Danny mm. Dennis uh, is absolutely wonderful, sensational, and uh, and uh, I I I. Just I'd like to hear hear it for the people of showbiz. They're a gr- I think they're a great crowd of yeah, people. Yeah. They really are. They enliven the world. I guess they probably always have. I can just see people in Cro Magnon caves or something. It There'd w- be somebody acting up or yeah. something, you know? Yeah. Somebody is a little bit just normal. I mean, not just normal. 
Well, you know. Thank God for the show business people. Well, wouldn't it be a dull room, world, if we didn't have the show business act up at Cape You know, like, it would be a like very uh, boring world, Harold. Daddy Darrow. Well, oh, not only yeah, no, no Harold, but you no. enlighten you you light up the world with your with your. Uh, being what well, th well you light That's up the right. world with your being well i'm well i don't know about that but i mean yeah. I'm, I'm not show but my daughter's in show business you know she, what, what did you thought my daughter is all show business yeah in fact she just got invented she just got uh, she's in theater yeah but she's at an academic. She heads up the theater department at the University of Minneapolis oh that's wonderful in Harold. Minnesota yeah and he she just got elected the star student of the year or something or t star teacher of yeah. the year and she got all this youthful energy you know, yeah. 18 year olds coming in and wanting to be stars and wanting to well, act sure, and wanting of to course do they want to. I think it's great that the uh, theater yeah. and the arts and uh, the comp and particularly the crowning thing of the whole thing it seems to me is humor yeah, I think if we didn't have humor, I think we'd uh, just dry up and go away. Like oh yeah, we'd be beat. a very dull, dismal world. Yeah, you know, just just take a look at the at uh, you know at the uh, at the uh, countries that that don't have entertainment, that don't have uh, a theater. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. don't have nightclubs, yeah. that don't yeah. have anything. Yeah. I mean, what do these people do? Yeah, but they all come to New York if they can. Or they, or they they, can. It's a thing of youth, isn't it? You see, they want to, there's a thing about wanting to be a star, right? Yeah, wanting to be a star, but you've got to have Wasn't a job job no. because you've got to pay your bills. Yeah, but that's the, that's, the, that's the theme of about 10 billion movies. I know. The young ladies are all there in one place, all sleeping in one room. They want to be a dancer. They want to be a star. That's right. I want to be a star. You want to be and a that's star, the sure. Thing, and I'm not so sure. There's a primrose path often that is for that. Yeah. Because what is it? What are the characteristics that make up? Okay, we're talking about show business, but we could also be talking about life. And what are the characteristics that make for, let's say, stardom? Stardom? Yeah. How, uh, practice, is it, practice, 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 practice. I've heard that, but it's boring. It's but boring? Yeah. You it's have like to a, take a, dance conjugating lessons. Conjugating all your You have to take singing lessons. Yeah. You have to take acting lessons. Yeah, but what if you haven't got the talent? Well, then you should do, quit. Do you have to have at the core the raw talent in order to be able to make it really authentically Harold, big? Harold, there's a lot of people. And is that, that a, I've seen, is that something? I've seen people no. that don't have any talent at all. Oh, there's a lot of them. And who they keep, on, yeah, they keep on going and trying and going and trying and going and it's trying. It's rather a sad thing. It's a sad thing. No, it isn't. Is it or isn't it? Harold, I think all the they should. I think it's good that the people maybe. Not everybody is a Tiger Wood at golf. That's he was right. Really good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, he's even I know. coming back now. Uh, re re but when you get at a certain age, then you slow up. Well, and you and you and you don't score. No, as but good the anymore. metaphor there is because there's only so many people that have a certain. S there's a French team, Soi de Quoi, or something like that. They have a certain quality that is transcendent, and everybody could try to have that uh, or. What is it that makes the star? Now, just in show business is a metaphor. You could have it for what about in business or in politics or in any of the other things that make up the human condition, you know? Y you have to have it in your brain and in your makeup, and you have to know what you're doing because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to succeed. There's an old song. <coughs> I'll sing it if you'd like. Would you like? I would love yeah. you to sing <coughs> it, Harold. Absolutely. This is uh, my, my English and Scottish background, right? Okay. Oh, we don't know where we're going, but we're on our way. way. We don't know where we're going, but we're, we're here, here to stay. Diddle, 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 do I? Oh, we don't know where, where we're, we're going. going. Hey, we don't know, know where, where we're, we're going, going, but we're, we're on our way. way. We sort of sang it all out of tune. Uh, I beg your pardon? It could be raining later. 
I can't hear you. It's going to be raining later. It's going to be raining, we're, and oh, that's Josie Ann coming from Josie Ann. Ann. That's your director. That's the. There's always somebody to rain on our parade. On our parade. That's, that's the exactly trouble right. for the yeah. great stars. They got these people of the, you know, they're coming rain on the parade. Yeah. News just came in, one and all, that that parade's going to get rained on. Ah. Heavily get rained on. There may be balls of, of, of hail. Balls of hail. Balls of hail. Balls of hail are coming. <laughs> oh, take heart. Take heart. Yes. Yes. Oh, Don't Harold. Be, no, get responsible. Be responsible. It's yes. The attitude of the normal attitude they want to have the citizens have is to be compliant. It could be what about right. people who complain? Complain? Yeah, and they well, say, why do you need those people everybody? around you? They're very mm. depressing, Harold. No. You stay away from complaining people. No, com I yeah, mean. Yeah, because it's very depressing, and then you don't want to rub off on yourself because you want to keep yourself happy uh, all the time to make other people happy. Because if you're not happy, you're not going to make anybody else happy. Well, there's that making them happy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But we talked about that thing the other uh, earlier about how. Do you think it's true that everything is speeding up? Everything no, is speeding the, up. No, the pace, it used to take a thousand years to invent a, 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 an item or something. Yeah. Or it took forever, and it was so long and languid and generations and generations before anything happened. Now, every day over the transom comes another revolutionary transformation of everything that we've all been brought up to be living in terms of for 200,000 years, there's something going on. Harold. Women would know. But they give birth to a child, and there, there is what is called the, um, the water break or something. The, the there, water there, breaks. There's a That's the water break. That's right. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. We don't do that, but it's a, it's a monumental transformation and something new. I know. Everything is changing. We got we got drones in in the air now. Right. Yeah. Uh, we got we got self driving no, cars, the, the, Harold. I, they're that, coming. They are. They yeah. they really they, everything. are. They don't no. need us anymore. They, Wait a minute. Gonna... Do you know, do you realize what you're saying? You instead of being a comedian, you should become a politician. A politician. You should, yeah. You Never. I don't want to become a politician. Pick up the mantle. Pick up the mantle and be a leader. A be lead. a leader of the political movement toward bring, uh, san I, I, bringing I sanity to the earth. Sanity. It needs it. If, if you want to bring sanity to the earth, then you can't be a politician because a politician doesn't bring sanity to the earth. That's a sad statement. It yeah, is. A, yes, yeah, yes. Right, yes, right. It yes. may be. Well, they have, a, they have an interest in keeping everything the same and everything. Don't try anything new or anything. But uh, no, I just think it's an incredible time to be alive. And thank goodness for the people Carol. of the theater and the, and the people that are bringing uh, joy and happiness and everything. Harold, and we don't everything. have a choice. We don't no. have a choice. We're still here. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we're here, but you're, but you're not still. Yeah. All right? And uh, that's it. And we'll see how long we if last. If you had lived in the 10th century, it would take 10,000 years to invent a tack. To invest a what? A tack. A tack? One little tack or yeah. something that's going to go. You know, it was so slow. How can we... Uh, we had to get over... 200,000 years that we've been here and now everything's just it's just a, it's like coming to a crescendo in terms of the speed with, with the change. Yeah, yeah, the change I think we need something be, in order to be able to handle it and everything because everybody do you think things are too the people are being too serious about the old uh, things and the humor the humorist and the humorist attitude can take can take shots at that in an effective way. The humor is really important. Yeah, yeah. We in got, terms we, of a critique of something that has to be critiqued like the human condition. Yeah, yeah. human it, condition. Well, you yeah. gotta laugh at everything, Harold, because well, if you don't laugh at them, uh, 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 you, you just can't go through the day. Well, you can't go through the day and you can't. How, how are we doing as far as time? Well, we got about 15 minutes left. A little more. Maybe, minutes? Maybe 17. Wow! If you cut it short. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, we're no. not cutting anything short. I want to <coughs> I want to keep talking. Yeah, well, we were just talking about golf, and that and that fellow is just really Yeah, great. yeah, Danny great. Dennis. Danny yeah. Dennis, he's is wonderful. Is that his name? Is that his Danny real name? Dennis. That's not his real name. Danny. That's a stage no, name. No, no, no. Is his real name is name? Dennis Den how Danny you, Dennis. How, Danny Darrow is a stage name. Yeah. What's your real name? No, I'm not telling you. Let's all... 
I'm not telling Don't you with any dentist. Don't you feel better if you got it off your shelf? Dentist. Now listen, you feel is this your, is this your real name, Harold? You'd be better if you get your name. Harold, is this your real name, Harold Chandler? You've been is hiding. Your real name? You've been hiding this thing. It's is, your ego. It's is, your id. It's you ego. Got all kinds what of ego? I don't have any ego. Hiding behind. Okay, I'm going to tell you now. Now I'm going to tell you a story. I'm trying to help. We're trying to help. I know. We're here from the helping industry. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell you a story. Psychiatry, psychology. All right. I used to have. Uh, a partner's name was Sid Asher. Yeah. Sid Asher was a uh, publisher. Sid Asher. Sid Asher. He was a dancer a, and a, Asher. Asher. He was a he was on Dasher dancer. Listen, and he was a, he was a publicist. He was a, an army colonel in army intelligence. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. And he was my partner, and he used to get me jobs wherever I I, I used to go when I first came to New York City. Okay. So uh, he got me a job working at the uh, at, uh, hosting. The United Cerebral Palsy Telethons, good reason. and That's I had to travel thing. all yeah. over the country mm -hmm. to host them, to put up tote boards, to bring on the stars, and to and to say, "Oh, this is a fabulous." Wait, but there's a difference the between putting up a tote board and bringing no, on no, the no, stars. It, it, you it, were the uh, I was the master host, of ceremony. I was the host producer, master of ceremony. The host, I, I was the host, and I was director. Of the but you're United, up on the stage in front I'm of I'm on us. the stage. You're not just a schmuck in the background. I'm, I've like, always been a schmuck, but not no, in the background. No no. no, 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 no. But wait, let me tell you what it is. No. So we were trying to give you due debt. Do, well, you know, th do yeah, thank you, credit. my darling. I appreciate it. Because so I don't think you've been given enough credit. Well, th that's a credit. Yeah, credit in school, in, yeah, in, in, in and, grammar school, yeah. in high school. I, I I was fighting for credits all the time. Yeah. But but we were in Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah. And uh, and and I and it's I Navy, finished yeah. and I finished the Navy. TV shows. Yeah. I finished the TV shows. I think it was uh, two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And there was a a, a a guy that I that I met, a fabulous guy named Bryce Bond, and he was a healer, and uh, and he had a show called The Terror of Norfolk. Norfolk so, is so, the Navy. So Sydney yeah. and I, Sid yeah. Asher and myself, yeah. went over because he says, "Danny, I want to interview you." Yeah, right. Um, so he came on. He came on. Uh, I, I I went to the uh, radio. Was the station. camera rolling? The, no, it was the radio show. A radio. A radio show. Was the mic on? The uh, mic is on and everything yeah, okay, else. Okay. Yeah. So everybody and at the time I used to use the name Danny Dream. D R E E M. What do you, we have a, a little contest now? Okay. What's better? Uh, wait, hold Danny on a minute. Let me Dream, tell you what we Danny did. Danny Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> Danny. Daryl, the dreamer. dreamer. Okay, so wait a minute, Danny Dr Dream. So beautiful dreamer, okay. my yeah. darling, my darling. So let me tell you what yeah, happened. Yeah. So 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 Sydney, uh, Sydney, we were we were both talking with uh, Bryce Bond on the on the radio show. Right. And Sydney comes up and live, he says, live, or li li yeah, live, yeah, live, yeah. And and he says uh, he says Bryce, he says uh, he says Danny Dream, he says doesn't that name sound kind of faggoty? And and and, uh, and Bryce said, "Well, it doesn't uh, it doesn't sound. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe." And, uh, and and so they said. So Bryce said, "All right." He says, "We're going to have everybody call in, and we're going to change his name. We want to change his name. Oh, yeah. And I want everybody to call in." And his name was what now? Bryce. Bryce Bond. Bryce Bond. Bond, and he was a solid healer. Name. Uh, yeah. He was fabulous. Yeah, right. A healer, a psychic, everything. Uh, oh. So, anyways, all right. This is the, the the show, the Terror of Norfolk, Bryce Bond. Okay. So everybody started calling in to change Danny Dream's name. And they gave suggestions for they both names. They had many suggestions. First name and last I'm name. I'm going to tell you what okay. they called in. Okay. The first one called in Charlie Dream. Mm, the second one called. Called in uh, uh, John Dream, the mm. second one Jack Dream. Nobody got rid of Bill, Dream. But well, we wanted to, but nobody. They wanted nobody to get, dream? No, they wanted to get rid of Danny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they did yeah. on the radio show. Oh yeah, that's funny. You got that all on tape or on, on No, on I don't have that. that no. Years ago. That was yeah, years, but years it's ago. funny, isn't it? Good yeah, to be able yeah. to laugh at everything yeah. like that. And everything, you know. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. That friend of yours is he? Are you still in touch with him? I think he, he ought to be. He died. Bryce died. He had a brain hemorrhage. He used to go out to, to Stonehenge all all the time. In England, and, huh? uh, and Stonehenge, yeah. Major and then he, he also wrote a, a a book on healing. Yeah. <coughs> and pardon me. And when I was in uh, Virginia, and I I stayed over. Uh, he used to have healing sessions. People used to come, and he says, "Danny, come with me." He says, "You're going to help me heal all these people." that are crippled and are crutches and everything, and they go to the churches out there. So he used to have healing sessions at the churches. And, and I said, Bryce, I'm, I'm not a healer, I can't. He says, you are, you are, I'm telling you, you are. 
So what we did, the people would come in, in maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 people lined up, and Bryce used to be there, I used to be there, and we used to rub our hands together, yeah. heat them up as hard as we could, yeah, and lay our hands on the people. Yeah, okay, right. And, it, and yeah, some yeah, of them yeah. really worked. Yeah, it, right. Uh, it, it really work. worked because yeah. the people believed it in their, yeah. in their heads. And uh, mind over matter, yeah. Mind over Can matter. Be, yeah. And that's what we used to do. Yeah, right, it could do it. Yeah, all kinds of things like that. Well, I just wonder where we're heading and everything like that. And I wonder, why is it that some people are so blessed by the fates of the world in which they find themselves in their relationship with the whole of the world and the whole of the human society, and they have just wonderfully uh, fulfilled and satisfying lives and so forth, and others have such a trouble, and so many people just die unrecognized in the gutter or maybe okay. under dirt, you know sad circumstances. <coughs> Harold, what's the main problem that allows the for this main problem inappropriate leaving behind a really truly meaningful participation that is the mark of somebody leading a really fulfilled life, limited to so few as compared to the very many, if not all, that is required if we're to measure up to what the universe is about. Okay, first of all, Harold, Just you have to yeah. keep yourself happy. People don't know how to keep themselves happy. Uh -huh. You've got to learn how to keep yourself happy. What would help Like I said before, Harold, yeah. mm. you've got to learn to keep yourself happy in order to make someone else happy also. So the happier you are, there's a song along that the, line. The happier you are, the happier everyone else is going to be around you. And you don't think right? the happiness. And you can't along. be negative. You have to be a hundred percent positive. Mm -hmm. All right. And you have to take all the negativity out of your soul and out of your mind. And you and you have to be a hundred percent positive. And you've got to take the word no out of your vocabulary. And you got to say, I'm going to you do You sound it. like I, Norman Vincent I, Peale to I do? Me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. That, this is positive, how positive thinking. Positive thinking. Yeah, okay. And that's the way you're going to make the whole world happy, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's the way a lot of politicians have, inc have instructed the masses of the population to think that way. Yeah. So they could put up with the situation yeah. that is not at, all mas not at all maximizing their potentiality because that's the way it works. Yeah, that's the way the whole now, world Now, is there something wrong with the system that doesn't make it possible for everybody to be realizing a sense of happiness just on their own terms? Well, is it maybe maybe the in the the incumbent that it be a thing like uh, you play a musical instrument? You play musical instruments. You uh, play in, in in groups. Do you do groups? No, do I don't. Jam. I, no, I don't do. No, You're I don't. Do no. Well, I used to. I, I used. I used to be a, just a singer. I got the gold medal for the singer. Singer is part of a, a musical yeah, ensemble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I used that's to be, really uh, part yeah, of it. I used to be yeah. a singer. I, I used to be a copyist for the. So now, if you're singing and somebody here's a, uh, here, here, your song, I've, got say, I've got six so albums out. Let's say out. you're singing a song and here you got the backup. Okay, you got yeah. the backup. The backup being some of these big people strings, that orchestras, and you're going to tell them to be thinking positive. And you're you there. No, wait. I'm trying to make a scene. Now you got a thing and you're singing and everything like this and you're going like this and the and you're going beautiful dreamer welcome to there you do this and in the background somebody who's part of the group is going beautiful dreamer <laughs> and you're saying well look just do better or something or do you encourage the people that ain't got it to be in the group to sing it doesn't or work the people, like that do you understand what i'm saying the blessed people who are happy and i have a meaning to be happy it's very hard to be happy if your immediate circumstances, such as Auschwitz and so forth, that we have had delivered down on us in the history. Yeah. And so many people are living in depravity and inability to have a reasonable, uh, you know, material life and so forth, even though we have a capability that they could have that. You have to change your thinking. Do you think thinking. we can get everybody liberated? Or everybody living a life that they could maximize their capability rather than be stunted by inappropriate right, systems right, of uh, just everyday substance okay. and living in a situation that is not doing that. Could we live? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Something's trying to be born in now in a way that is pretty unique historically to be kind of all right, serious. Harold, all I can tell you about it is that many people are working and they're miserable at their jobs. They're totally miserable. 
but they have to work to support their families. Now, what they about that? This, they have yeah. to do that. Yeah, that's responsibility. Okay. That's a good thing. Okay, yeah. all they right. Can, yeah. So if they could do uh, what they want, uh, what they want to do, sing songs, and yellow river well, road. they could do whatever they want to yeah. do, but they still have to have a job, job to pay their bills and everything else. No, no, wait. What but if the they bills have are to, paid? if they're happy at their jobs. And if they're happy at their work and they're happy at everything that they're doing, then the world would be a wonderful place. Wait a minute. If everybody's but happy at what they're doing, but what they're doing is not but meaningful. But, but they're, they're not happy. They've been, mo they've been modified in their thinking. I'm happy here hitting this thing. Henry Ford built the Ford. He used to be in my grandmother's garage before he got off and really? running. And he was tinkering. But he had to do it. And the men would be there. They'd be coming in and all day long, 10 hours a day, same the sun nut, same the same nut. Oh, oh. The, the, the breaking down of everything, it was just insen it was inherently uh, dehumanizing yeah. the, the function. A lot of the things people have to do in order to get that money yeah. is de de well, dehumanizing. Yeah, you've got to make a living. And I just heard you say something <laughs> about the technology is taking over everything, driverless cars. Yeah, so driverless we're, cars. We may and, be heading you for got the, the, you got the drones up there uh, 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 dropping bombs now in Israel, you yeah. know, and, and, and stuff like this and... Uh, and everything. Everything yeah, is going to be automated. Everything is so automated. Yeah, but wait a minute. Is that good or bad that everything's going to be automated? Is well, it seems to be coming relentlessly like a pregnancy. Tell a woman if she's had to give birth, you know, it's eight, six months. It's not five. It's not. It, it, it's coming. And there's going to be a big transformation or something like that. Well, the automation. Do you think it's, it, it's coming? Well, it, it's coming. It's definitely coming. Uh -huh. Harold, it's definitely coming. And people are going to lose their jobs. There's going to be more unemployment. Uh, there's going to be uh, more of this, and uh, you know, uh, you know, because of the automation, you know, everything. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're very. There's very few people who say that. They say we can always create more. We'll, well create more but different you, but jobs. But you can't. But the thing. We're going to have a. You know. Yeah, but you can't. It's, it's just. It's just a shame. A lot of people are going to be out of work and everything. Josie Ann, how much time have we got left? Two minutes and uh, thirty seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds. What should we do? Do you think we could sing some song or something? Uh, well, I what don't know. You could sing. You sing like, he sings, honest to God, ladies and gentlemen, this man who says a lot of stuff that's uh, a little questionable sometimes. <laughs> Every once in a great while. But he's got a voice like an angel. I heard you sing. You got a more mellow voice than Mel Torme. Mel Torme. And I Mel used to Torme know Mel. Mel was gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you are. I heard you down here in the studio. Yeah, well, I, you Harold, are. Um, you want to sing us out? No, I, I, I'll sing with <laughs> you. We, we could fool around for another two minutes, Harold. We no, could no, do it. No, to close your show. But maybe what can we do to bring some panache to it, you know, and everything like that? Uh, Beautiful dreamer. <laughs> what, what, what is your favorite song? I don't have a favorite well, song. Well, what song do you like? I don't like anything. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to try to say maybe we could just end on a song. We could end on How about there's no business, business like show, business like, like no business, business I we know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything the And then when you get that funny feeling, when you are stealing that extra bow, 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 that. Now that's good at the psychiatric ward, and that could probably help a lot of people if they had an opportunity to do something like that. That's right, Harold. something, and it could be So I will meet you in the psychiatric ward. I definitely meet you there. What time are you going to be there? I'm not sure if we can get the whole gang together. We ought to get the whole gang together to say the whole human the whole human society should be singing a song in the back ward of the of the uh, you know or something like that okay it's an amazing time to be alive it, you think so it, oh absolutely there you didn't you didn't like it back in the like, 30s and 40s well and it was 50s? a whole different ball of wax this is the greatest time ever and one of the things that makes it so great is Danny Darrow and, and it's Harold Shander uh, my darling Harold Shander the mutual the wonderful admiration Shander, society the wonderful mutual Harold admiration Shander. society okay <laughs> Okay, we're going to cut it down before they lock us up. They're okay? going to lock us up? No, I'm not going to get Harold, locked. I'm going to get Danny, you out. I'm not going to get locked I'm up I'm going to get you out I'm no matter what. I don't, I got, I've not got bail, Jenny. I'm going to save you. I'll Cavalier. save you. Don't you worry about it. I can't make bail, fella. You'll make I it. I guarantee it. you're going to make Outside it. Outside of that, I think it's time to say goodbye. Okay, so say goodbye. And goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for watching time. the Harold Sanders Show. Get better. Yay. 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 <laughs> okay. Out. Out. Bye.